This video describes the lateral approach to the sinus tarsi for arthrodesis of the posterior subtalar joint. The patient is positioned supine with the support underneath the buttock and opposite on the pelvis. The lateral malleola is outlined first. The calcaneo cuboid joint is then drawn. The superior part of the anterior process of the calcaneus corresponds to the floor of the sinus tarsi, in the center of which a soft point may be palpated, which helps in outlining the anterior and superior part of its circumference. The superficial perineal nerve may be seen in some patient, and if possible, is outlined on the skin. The theoretical position of the sural nerve is halfway between the lateral malleola and the Achilles tendon. The sinus tarsi is then injected with saline solution. The needle is inserted in the center and should be pushed right through. The solution is injected gradually as the needle is retracted. An inflated zone on the skin may be seen and should correspond to the circumference of the sinus tarsi outlined earlier. The longitudinal axis of the fibula is then drawn and corresponds to the posterior limit for the middle portal, so as to protect the perineal tendons. The two portals are drawn, starting with the middle one, on a horizontal line which corresponds to the equator of the sinus tarsi. The middle portal is just anterior to the tip of the fibula, and the middle portal is just opposite on this same equator line. The correspondence may be seen here with a cadaver specimen and an artist's view. The skin is incised superficially and then dissected with a mosquito clamp. The sun solution may be seen oozing out as the clamp progresses. A standard 4.0 mm arthroscopic cannula with blunt introducer is first introduced in the middle portal. The camera is inserted and a standard outside-in technique under direct vision is performed for the anterior portal. On this slide, the correspondence may be seen between a cadaver specimen on the right and a live patient on the left, in which the sinus tarsi is completely clogged up by white fibrous tissue. The skin is inside for the anterior portal and then dissected with the mosquito clamp. A standard 3.5 full radius synovial rejector is inserted in the anterior portal. The procedure starts with the resection of the white scar tissue. This resection is pushed posteriorly until the anterior aspect of the posterior subterior joint may be seen. Gentle movements of the hind foot may help in locating this more precisely.